I don't want to wake up. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to come home. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to come home. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to come home. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to come home. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to come home. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to come home. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to wake up. Hey, Cloudy, can I ask you a question? Yeah? What do Warren Beatty, Al Pacino, Madonna, Dustin Hoffman, Paul Sorvino, James Caan, and even Dick Van Dyke, all have in common. They all have a A in their name. Well, besides that, they were all on a movie that won seven Academy Awards, made millions of dollars, and yet, 23 years later, the movie made its way onto a DVD and then eventually a Blu-ray and neither one of them had any special features on it whatsoever. Oh, you're talking about Dick Tracy, aren't you? You goddamn right I am. Yeah. Hey. Didn't that just come out on Blu-ray, man? Yes, it did. And you know what? Years ago, I waited and waited and waited for it to just come out on DVD. And then finally it came out on DVD, and I was so happy. I was like, wow, it finally came out on DVD, Dick Tracy. I went out and bought it, nothing. No special features at all, nothing, nada, zip. And you know what? I just remember thinking, what a shame. I mean, this is Dick Tracy we're talking about here. I just don't understand it. And now here we are years later. And now it's being released again on Blu-ray. I mean, Blu-ray. Everybody always makes a big deal. Is it on Blu-ray? It's on Blu-ray. Is it, when's it coming out on Blu-ray? Like, every, you know, a lot of people even put off buying regular DVDs anymore because they're just waiting for movies to come out on Blu-ray. And now here we go, it comes out on Blu-ray and still no special features, no commentary, no outtakes, no behind the scenes, no nothing, no interviews. Didn't Warren Beatty just win uh, like a lawsuit, man? to uh, own the rights a couple years ago or something? Yes, he did. In 2011, he won a lawsuit where he owns the rights to Dick Tracy now, the movie. And uh, it's because he wanted to make a sequel. Uh, I have no idea why, but that's a whole other topic. Word. I just remember when the movie first came out, everybody made such a big deal out of it. <clears throat> I mean, there was comics, toys, video games. I remember going to McDonald's and getting the little fake watch that, you know, that he talks into. His, you know, like all the, I remember seeing on TV, all the build-up, all, all the trailers, uh, they showing on TV about how they do the makeup 
it showed William Forsythe in the chair and them putting the uh, flat top makeup on him and stuff and the brow and prune face all them sitting in the chair and it showed the makeup it showed interviews you know how long everything took it showed Warren Beatty how he wanted to make everything look like a comic book a comic strip of Dick Tracy so everything had bright colors to it it showed how they did the sets all that stuff and yet DVD nothing now, the Blu-ray, still nothing. I mean, all that stuff that they showed on TV, they can't put any of that on the Blu-ray? I'm just... I'm just as sick about the whole thing as you are, man. Matter of fact... I think I'm gonna hurl, man. <laughs>